Hey everyone, the stream is starting. I've already loaded into the game. How's everyone doing today? Hey Ron. That's good to hear. So, I have the game paused, for a reason, besides just not moving the time. Uh, so I didn't think this was going to happen, but apparently I know this game decently well. Uh, remember when I said last, last stream, hey, maybe if I log out and when I come back for this stream, the Horde will restart? Well... It did. <laughs> Full stop. It did. The house is full of zombies again. Which is great, because this is more XP for me. See how much XP I can get before the port ends of the night. Zombies in. Trying to get to spawn as many zombies in before the horde ends, before day comes. And there we are. Oh yeah, the tar is fucking amazing. I love it. The uh, tactical assault rifle. For anyone who's not familiar with what I'm talking about, this thing. It can shred just about anything is what I'm learning. Like it just eats through anything I fire at. More or less. How how are you striking these underneath you? <laughs> okay. There's definitely still some shit down there alive. What's going on in here? Where are my my friends who've joined here. Ooh, loot bags. Okay, there's still a dog left. Fortunately, the other dogs went away. I would love to get their leather. That's exactly what you want to, to hear. Ah, uh, yes! My clothing is made of dog leather! <laughs> Not awful at all. No one else? Hmm. Surprise, there isn't anyone else. Oh wow, the spikes here didn't even take damage. The spikes are pretty effective though. I hear something. Now you fight me, bitch! Don't bring a... hand to a knife fight. You'll get shanked. Let's see if there's any, like, loot out here. I think this was here before. Oh yeah, they did a fucking number on this place. How are we doing? They surprisingly didn't actually do as much damage to the bars as I would have expected. Hmm. If I get some forged iron, then I can repair those, and I might actually bother with that one.
do the zombies learn, like, hey, there's an opening here, or do they just attack the nearest structure to them? Uh, they generally take the path of least resistance, like humans, <laughs> where just whatever is the easiest way to get into the into the house. Um, so in that case, like they do have like they do have the ability to tell where there is a open area to like get in, but their AI isn't perfect, so it's hard to know what they will figure out because sometimes they will just like rush right into that one particular hole that's in the foundation. And other times, they will literally be hitting a wall beside it. They're not very smart, but the uh, they—they're smart enough to be dangerous, but not smart enough to always be dangerous. <laughs> okay, let me get some other materials to repair this thing. Also, I'm going to take apart this car, since I said I was going to do that. Okay. Also, I learned that this stuff isn't just clay. It's, like, mixed rocks. So, clay, stone, sand, and cobblestone rocks can you can get from these things. Yeah, I just got some cobblestone rocks. Also, for some reason, the pickaxe mines just as effectively as the uh, um, as the shovel does. Don't know why. Oh, I thought that was a block under. Oh well. <laughs> eh, eh. This has got to be. This is the most effective way of doing this. Definitely not. Oh, I can repair you. I really badly want to rip down this house and put, like, my house here. Just, like, inside all of these bars. Because, like, there is a rather... There's a rather large amount of resources that would have gone into making a fence this big, and especially all of these bars. These bars are worth so much iron. Like, can I? Oh, I can take this part. I kind of have a plan, but unfortunately, if I take over this house, like, if I want to use this as a base, I can't use it for the horde. Or, I mean, I can if I want to do, like, an all-in-one structure, but I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, what I have right now for the Horde, like, this does suit my needs for the Horde very well. And it will continue to do so. I don't know. Gotta, gotta think on that one, like... I don't have to take the bars, like, I can just build my own. Eventually, I will be wealthy enough that it won't matter. Okay. What do I have up here? I have a lot of random crap. That's what I have. Sure. We'll leave some food here, because... Well... I don't see a point bringing everything with me. Uh, only some vitamins. So I'll leave those here. Uh, I think I should be good otherwise. Oh, bow crafting. I'm going to use the pipe bombs for the horde, so that'll stay here. Okay. I think I should be good. I'll go downstairs and I'll repair some stuff. Actually, I should go home and like get my tools and then come back to repair stuff because I don't I don't have like even a shovel. 
and I could use that. Oh, also, for anyone who doesn't know it, um, so if you if you interact with with a like one of the bigger doors, like the garage doors, it has an animation. It goes like uninteractable for a moment till the animation's finished, and then you can close it again. So if you accidentally open it, you have to wait for it. But if you double click really fast, it skips the animation for going up and immediately starts going back down again, but still lets you walk through it. Just a little tidbit for anyone who plays this game and does not know that. It's really nice, because otherwise you'd wait for fucking ever. It's death. Lots of stuff. The desire to just destroy random buildings is very strong. <laughs> I should probably clear out the trees around here, too, actually. I don't really want to have too much blocking my vision. Wait. Oh. From this distance, the, the flower is rendering, but the thing is not until you zoom in. It's funny. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna head home. Head home, get stuff, come back. So, I actually lowered my settings a bit in uh, seven days. My computer can take it, but I realized when I was editing some of the recordings that... Uh, it's it gets a bit choppy in some parts, like get really bad artifacting. So I'm hoping to fix that with some lower resolution stuff, make uh make it a bit easier to see everything. Hmm. So what I'm thinking right now is if we want to make that our house, that house, if we want to, like, do something with it. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's running smoother. So if we want to make that house our house, we need a place for the horde. And, well, let's build it. <laughs> Just straight up, let's build it. We have a fair bit of, uh, of equipment now. I mean, we have 59 concrete blocks. We have 2,500 concrete, another 600 cobblestone rocks. So we're doing decently. That should be enough to build a small ward base. Oh, wow. Lots of iron. Uh, I'm going to build some bars. Actually, no, because I found out something. These are expensive and hard to make. Um, and they have about 2,500 health. So they're pretty strong. They're good for places where you're not going to actually... They're not going to take damage. Now, let me show you something different. The thing that I actually want to use, which I've been kind of looking into. Uh, okay, let's. I'll do it with the wood ones, just to show. So, this is the wood frame. However... Actually, no, is this a wood frame or wood cube? This is a wood cube, so this is like an upgraded version. So if I go into shapes, I can make bars. Oh, uh, advanced rotation. Want to lay down. Okay, so let's say I want to put a bar right here. Just so like I can walk out here and shoot downwards more easily. And that's usually what I would do for a base in general. So these have 500 health each, which is not amazing, realistically, but they're very easy to repair. Now, if we have some cobblestone rocks, 
We can upgrade them. Those look really ugly, but that's fine because we can color them. Now it is 1500 durability, and I can repair with cobblestone rocks. The other stuff, if I put the iron bars down, they have 2500 durability, which is better. But you have to re repair them with forged iron. It's really expensive. So I wouldn't... This I, I think this actually makes more sense, at least for now. And like I can, if a bar gets broken, I can replace it with a, with a steel or steel with forged iron one later. Plus, plus, something cool. If I get concrete, <laughs> I can do it again. Now it's five thousand durability, which is twice the amount of iron. Actually, I like this way better. It's so much easier to get stone than it is to get iron. I'll finish upgrading these because I'll probably stand out here and shoot screamers or something at some point, so it's useful. Okay. So we need to pick... Okay, we need to dump off our stuff. But we need to pick a location for the horde base before we bother with anything else. We need to find some sort of location that just suits it well. Go there. After I put everything away. Honey, I'll put in the medical. Nope. Medical? Medical. Wow, I had a lot of honey on me. I must have brought that with me for the horde. I don't don't think I'd have that on me normally. No. That's water. Goes in here. And then I have... Oh, I, I had a shovel on me already. Huh. Okay. I don't really need the pistol on me right now. Oh, I should have left the Molotov, so I forgot to do that. Oh well. Can I make a better claw hammer, actually? Because, like, this one doesn't have much durability. <laughs> nope. Okay. The claw hammer is just an upgraded version of uh, the stone axe, which I don't have one of. Um, just, just to, like, explain the difference, the claw hammer can upgrade things in two strikes, or two or three strikes, and the uh, stone axe can upgrade things in three to four strikes. So if you have to upgrade, let's say, 200 blocks, the difference between having to do each of them two to three times versus two to f three to four times, it adds up a lot. <laughs> it's It really sucks. So it's nice to have that. Okay, let me put some more cement on. About 10, 27 minutes. Give myself way more. I'm gonna hold off on making any more stuff until I figure out what I want out of there. Okay, so I need more sand. Which is fair. Another 1500. Another 1500 concrete, though, which is good. Oh, I also badly need wood. Ooh, 4,000 concrete mix. That's nice. Plus another 600 in this. Because it takes 10 per cube. Yeah, I can I can convert the small stones into sand. But... Actually, yeah, I'll do that. It's not that big a deal. I can get more. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Bullets! <laughs> Bullets would help! Okay, I got the tar here. Got some of those. I should eat some food. Oh, 
and I'll have some of my obscene amount of red tea. And, before I forget... Harvest! Cool, nine more water. I'm gonna very quickly, like, if I actually harvest reliably, I'm gonna very quickly run out of need for water, actually, which is gonna be funny. Because I've been, like, suffering this entire time, and now I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, strippy meisters. I'm never going to live that down. I understand that now. Uh... Oh, fuck. I hit the stupid land clamp block again. <laughs> eh. No. Eh. Hmm? What did I just hear? Oh, it's the concrete mixer that's going. <laughs> the cement mixer. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So, horde base. Ideally, if I'm going to move the house here, then I want to have the horde base not too far away, but far enough that it's not going to get smashed easily. Uh, one thing that I can do... And this, this will decrease the amount of stuff I can farm per horde. But if I back the the horde base onto something else, some other structure that's, like, big and sturdy, then I only have to defend from three directions instead of four. So that is something I am considering. Uh, ideally, I would want it somewhere near here. I don't want it near water, because we'll have a Pirates of the Caribbean... Zombies on the ocean floor kind of thing going on, which is not good. Uh, don't really have too many sturdy buildings here besides the Zuckage. That's actually would be like kind of a good horde house. No, because I want to be able to shoot things and the giant wall around it kind of makes it hard to do. Hmm. The other option is I just find a flat area away from everything and just do it there. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be uh, beside anything or even in town. I could just build it, like, right here. Just empty-ish plot of land. I have to go see what the terrain is, though. You don't really want to build on uneven terrain in this game. It's... Terrain is weird in this game. Like, really, really weird. It's... They... There's, like, lots of bumps and stuff in how the terrain is. Like, you can have... Like, the sunken in, like, small divot. And then you can have, like, this little... Um... This isn't going to explain it. Basically, the size of blocks varies. Which isn't very useful. <laughs> so one of the things to worry about with the Horde House is it needs to be far enough away from the main house that things won't get stuck on the walls over there and then, like... You have to smash the walls because it w they will get stuck in surrounding points of interest. Like, let's say I build right here, this fence over here is going to get destroyed because <laughs> they're going to get stuck behind this fence because they come they have to run in from out of render distance. So building here kind of means that. This is actually like a phenomenal like really flat area. Plus it's full of trees, which is great, because I need wood. I don't really see any reason not to pick here. Though it depends on, like, what type of building I'm actually intending to make. Hmm. It might look ugly, but I could actually build in a parking lot. <laughs> Which would have the benefit of the ground being very hard to break. 
because uh, like I would generally want to dig down in uh, like if I'm over here uh, like in this area I'd want to be able to dig down like a block or so just to make sure that nothing can burrow in because if something let's say if there's a hole somewhere and they start smashing their way through they could just burrow underneath the foundation and that's like one of the easiest ways to drop a house to like like make it collapse is just burrow under the foundation oh this right here is all actually that's not very strong like comparatively to concrete It does have the benefit of, like, I'd have to wipe out these buildings to be able to actually do it effectively, though. No, I'm not. I'm not going to cheat this by using existing stuff. I'm going to actually like start in this area because it's nice. I'm not cheat it, but like, I'm not going to borrow anything existing. I'll just do the. I'll just put in the work myself. I think this will ultimately be where I plan to stay. Okay. Nope, not 500. Give me, like, 20. So, I'm gonna try to figure out... Oh, okay, so this is this is what I was talking about. So, the block is actually lower than it looks. Like, if I place this, this is, real, like, the real height of the block right... of where the block should be right there. But it's artificially lifted up. Now here, let's see. Now there's actually like a difference in height right here because this doesn't go down. That's just where it's supposed to be. So actually this is the level that everything is supposed to be at, which means that I need to do this. Basically just place a whole ton of blocks down and it will even out the ground. Okay, so this is where it goes up. Okay. Yeah, like like you can see the the divot I've made just by like resetting the blocks to their actual height. It's really awkward for building. Because, like... I mean, these looked like they were at the same height, but now that I've placed blocks, these ones... Like, if you... Like, like okay, so look at the... Um, look at how high this, this is right here. When I place this, it's going to raise this up. So this block just raised up to its full height, because that's actually the height it's supposed to be. Because that's how big the actual block space is supposed to be. If we place things beside it as well, the corners will come up to meet it as well. Yeah, the parking lot does look good for this specific reason. <laughs> but no, this will this will look prettier in the end. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna flatten out the earth. It won't take too long. I've done this many, 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 many times. <laughs> And actually, like, we don't we don't totally have to do this. Like, we can just uh, place, like, the actual blocks we want to place. That also works, too. But this just, like, kind of helps get a good idea of where, like, what I need to actually dig out. So, I'm in too far in the middle right now. Hmm. I'm trying to find, like, a generally centered area. Generally centered. This way? No. I mean, the center does not matter, but it makes me happy. Okay, I can use this tree as the center. Okay. So generally, I make all of my builds just rectangular. 
it just tends to work the best, I find. Take this out. Clay actually would be kind of nice to have, so it is kind of convenient to be doing this right now. Okay. How big do I want this? <laughs> Treehouse! Yep. I wish I could build, like, an actual treehouse, but that's not really... Hmm. Actually. Hold on. I can make logs. Hmm. I'm wondering... Let's look at the frames, because these frames are going to be the same for the wood, the cobblestone rocks, and the cement. Okay, pillar, one meter. Let's just place this here. Um, oh shoot, I can't actually test this because I don't have a... Um, I don't have the paintbrush on me to paint things. But uh, I'm wondering if I stack a bunch of these on top of each other, if I can make something that looks like a tree. Like, I think I'd have to make, like, multiple trees... I don't want to risk... I don't want to make something that I have, a like, a big risk of, like... Of having the legs, to, legs taken out from under it and the whole thing falling, because that would suck. That co that cement does not come back. I'd have to get all the concrete mix again. But it is a fun concept. I might, I might think about that one. I don't know... I don't know how that would work, because, like... If I'm going to do stilts, I want there to be a bunch of legs to it. And I want all the legs to be, like, as heavily uh, reinforced as I can. And surrounded by spikes. Because, like, ideally when we build this house, this is the house that I want to be using for, like, the hundredth day horde kind of thing. Like, okay, I don't know if there's going to be a horde on day 100, but I mean, like, actually it'd be day 98. Whatever. I want to be able to use this for, like, the rest of the hordes, more or less. So, I want to, like, it to be something that is fairly sturdy. <laughs> now I kind of want to build a treehouse, though. Hmm. Not sure how to achieve that. Hmm. I really don't know. Oh. What the fuck? There's more? Oh my gosh, I didn't... I didn't... Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much stuff. Oh, there it is. This. Farm plot corner. Okay, if I made this the tree, it would be four wide. Or, not four, but like, like it's a, to be a two by two, which would be fairly sturdy. We're gonna make a fucking treehouse. Who wants to make a fucking treehouse? Let's make a fucking treehouse. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna build it where this tree is. Probably. I need to actually bring my building supplies over here, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my building supplies. Yeah, I'm gonna get my building supplies. I did not think this would actually be possible, but having those, like, like quarter pie shape, um, like, the quarter cylinders makes it doable, because... I wouldn't want to use just, like, one block that if they break it, I we're fucked. Like, I can... We can withstand with four. It's gonna be rough, and we probably will have to do something later on to, like, extra reinforce it, but... We'll see.
Okay. Just fucking bring everything. Bring everything! Make more concrete! I should close the door even if, if I'm just gonna be here for a short amount of time. Just, just a good habit. It's like my only warning sign whether something is here to kill me or not. Uh, 59 blocks is probably good. I don't think I need too, too many. Okay. That's 60. That's good. Um, what else do I need here? I'm gonna bring, like, a bunch of food and water. Because I'm gonna need it. Not yet, but I, I will eventually need it. Hmm. You know what? I'll bring the meat stews with me. They're good for this. I have lots of food and water now. Decent amount of ammo. I should be good. I have some repair kits. Bring a few. We do have rock busters. No, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be mining that much. Like I only have to like take off the top layer really. And this just increases output. It doesn't like Actually, if I'm digging down, hmm. Yeah, actually, if we're doing a treehouse, I have to dig down a little bit, but it's not actually going to be that far. I'm going to use the coffee instead. The coffee has a better stamina boost to it. Wait, do I have all my... Yes, I have all the equipment I need. Need to make sure I still have my axe. Because I'm going to need that, because I'm going to be chopping down all the trees now. Because you do not want any trees near your horde base. Anything that obscures vision is bad. Because you want to see them as... You want to see them coming from as far away as your render distance will allow. Because that's when you can shoot them. <laughs> okay... Storage chest. And I'm gonna put it a little bit little ways away. Just cause it's better to leave things a little ways away. Things aren't likely to get smashed then. Okay, can I make the same building blocks? Yes I fucking can. Uh oh, there they are. Are there any other better blocks before I do this? Because I don't want to, like, waste a bunch of time if there's a better option. Oh, there's all the damage. Oh, there's all the destroyed structures. Windows. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. None of this was available last update. This is amazing. Is this? Oh, this is a slightly different corner. It's not as rounded. Oh, cube trim round outside versus the farming one, which is this. I'll take the one that's actually supposed to be used for this, I think. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna swap this over and use this because it's easy to pick this up versus the other stuff, which is not. A cube round outside. So literally the only difference is that this one has like little bevels and this one has what looks like metal in the middle, but we're not going to see the middle anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick the ones that are, are unbeveled. Okay. First of all. Okay. First of all. Before I forget. Here. Favorite. Wait. S? 
Okay, favorite. Cool, now it's a favorite. So I won't forget which one I was using. Oh, this is a pretty low health tree for how big it looked. Stamina. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to put music on this entire time. There, nice and quiet. This is very good because I need the wood badly right now. Because we need to make spikes. Like, we're going to be making a lot of spikes as soon as we have the option. In retrospect, I should have put a bunch of, like, all the spikes I could on the in the workbench before I left. But whatever. I'm 24% wet! It must be raining. I think we're getting close to being able to make steel steel tools. <laughs> Who is Steve? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can make steel tools. Oh, I'm gonna want to make a steel pickaxe at some point because I think we do have the stuff for it. I'm a bit nervous about this build, because I want to make sure it's actually durable for zombies. So, we're gonna see if, like, this goes down in flames or not. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to make the treehouse idea as, like, viable as humanly possible. I have no idea how to do it, but, like, we'll figure it out. Usually I just build, like, very boring houses. Just, like, whatever is the most durable. Let's have some coffee and get some stamina regen. I don't really need to break the rocks, but I'm breaking them anyways. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of you, because you're not in a useful spot. Okay, where was I placing this? <laughs> I think it was here. Sure, let's call that good. Okay. 
That's going to be the trunk of archery. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to go... <laughs> Ugh. I need to get paint. Because I want to be able to show... I want to be able to, like, see what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to get paint. Because I really I really want to be able to, like... I'm going to upgrade this to, to uh, wood. And then I'm just going to show it off. Because I want this... I mean, if we if there's no good log textures, then this entire thing has been pointless. Or this entire thing will be pointless if I make it. So let's go. I need to get I need to go get a paintbrush, which is just leather and wood. It's easy to make. Okay, I do actually need to make some paint, though. Which apparently uses chrysanthemum. And water. Oh god, I don't need 2,500 paint! <laughs> uh, that's 1,200... Okay, let's just make a 1,000. I don't think I need more than that yet. If there's a rounded slash dome top, you can make it a very phallic looking base. No, I'm not making a penis! No. No. I'm going to make something that looks nice. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't need more than 500. I have to, like, come back anyways. And, like, a little bit, because it is getting late. Though I could just stand in the middle of the place and in the middle of the field and just keep digging. Like, I don't have to actually go inside, but... It's probably advisable. That is a thick tree trunk. Okay. Uh. You know what? Let's build this a little bit. S nope, that is. Concrete. You know what? If I have to break things, I have to break things. Okay. So, what are my options? Tree trunk cut. Is this gonna... No, that's not right. <laughs> I made butt cheeks. Uh, hmm. I don't want wood scut there. I don't want wood siding. No, that's not a tree. Barricade. That is definitely not right. Come on. I want there to actually... Oh my god, there's a tree trunk thing right there and I didn't even notice it. Oh wait, I can... there's a better way to do this. Uh, paint surface. Can I paint? Yeah, I can paint building blocks. 
Cool. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. That looks pretty cool. I just have to surround it with as many traps as is humanly possible. <laughs> we'll see how that works. I'm happy that there was a tree trunk option, because I was starting to get really worried. Okay, uh, wooden bars. Return that to just normal size stuff. Uh, sure, I'll favorite that, because it's just a cube. Uh, okay, no. Is there no way to see all favorites? Guess not. Whatever. What of this do I need to break, and what of this is just... Oh shit, these are these are wood cubes. They're not they're not frames, I can't pick them back up. Damn it. Okay, what I'm thinking is we're gonna take We're gonna build a concrete platform underneath the tree and surround the concrete platform with fences and then fill the entire area full of spikes within and be able to fire outwards so hopefully most things don't make it through the fence that's what i'm thinking right now i need just some basic building blocks i want to see how this looks In a hole. <laughs> oh, this this is all like an actual slope. Okay. I'll then... I'll just move that then. And get some nice... clay... for my furnaces. I'm actually really excited. I've never built something as cool as, like, a treehouse in this game. It was a really good idea. be careful not to make everything fall. Okay. So now is the moment of truth to, truth to actually test what I'm thinking about. And I'm not telling you what it is intentionally. This is, I'm gonna want to be a little bit of a surprise. But I have a plan. You'll see it in a second. Yeah, I know it's not enough here. Okay. Can I favorite things here? No. Okay, that is that's not how that works. Uh This music does not actually suit what I'm doing. It's good, but it's not suit does not suit what I'm doing at all. Concrete? No. Black granite, adobe, concrete, 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 drywall, flagstone. 
gravel faster. Camo. Metal, 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 metal. Carpet, lots of carpet. Hmm. Ah, uh, this isn't looking good for what I'm looking for. Uh, where is gravel? I saw gravel somewhere. Where? There we are. Okay, this will have to do. Uh, paint all sides. What I wanted to do was do grass. But there isn't a grass as far as I can tell. So, does that look like it's planted, like, actually in the earth? I feel like it does. Zombie. Any other zombies around? Well, I guess I might as well just call them all over right now. See what happens. There's a buck. Okay, there's a crawler. Or a spider. Who else? No. Nope. Just that one buck over there that stuck. It's a stuck buck. Okay. Nothing else coming. Yeah, I do, uh, I do really wish that I could have, like, real grass there, but... Eh. Not without... Not without... It's, it's not without uh, sacrificing a lot of structural stability. And I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not worth it. So this stuff has 5,000 durability. So we're actually... We're actually gonna make, like... It's gonna look like there's a giant tree... On gravel. But what we're actually going to have is one massive concrete structure. I don't totally remember how all the painting stuff works in this game. Paint surface? Oh, that works. Cool. That looks really good for 5,000 durability concrete that is definitely, definitely gravel. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what do I not need? I don't need that right now. Cube. Where? Oh. You're not that dangerous. Ooh! Cool. Nice little baggie. Anyone else? Nope, just that buck. I don't really want to fire again if I can avoid it. Not at night. I'm sure I'm already I'm gonna have some other visitors anyways. Okay. This music is perfect for this. I'm a bit nervous being out at night, but whatever. Ah! 
Oh, the power attack just, like, immediately breaks blocks. That's kind of cool. It destroys my stamina, but... Pretty useful in that way. There's a uh, Hawaiian man over there. Sorry, a Hawaiian shirt man. I don't know who I'm saying stories to. I just apologize automatically because I'm Canadian. I even apologize when there's no one else around. You know, just Canadian things. Lightness is in my blood. Uh, hmm. I should probably make some more concrete building blocks. For now, I'm going to keep working on the base, actually. So I'm going to place the concrete here. I don't know how big of an area I'm going to make. I think because like so I'm gonna I'm making an even numbered build like an even wide build because of this is a two by two I usually would do odd um, I find odd numbers just work a lot better in games like this I feel like a lot of things are just meant for it just my personal opinion anyways um, the benefit of that actually is that Blade traps, specifically, are kind of, like, even-sized. You haven't seen blade traps yet, but... Like, just imagine, like, what is in a fan, except for sharpened blades and large. And meant for, like, chopping up zombies. They're really cool. They're, like, deeper into the electrical line. Oh my gosh, I have five points waiting for me. <sighs> I should do something about that. Electrician. Oh, traps. Yeah, blade traps are at level... I guess 25. They're fun. I need, like, generator banks, though, first, which is an electrical. Do I have... How's my electrical doing again? Okay, so I need four more, and then I can make generator banks. And relays. And lights! That'll be nice. I'm probably going to be, like, wiring up this place pretty heavily. This is a one- this is actually only one block tall, because as soon as you hit it, it like drops down to like what its size is supposed to be. Well actually, it drops down because you- it's taken damage and the blocks change as you, they, as you deal damage to them, but whatever. I'll actually make them gravel soon. I'm going to make a square garden area. I'm going to work on, like, actually creating the area around the treehouse first before I create the treehouse itself. Because then I'll be able to, like, safely work at all times of day without having to, like be watching my back, because I am, like, kind of, uh, um, like, on high alert, waiting for things to attack me. I 
have 3,500 clay. That's awesome. That'll help me for cobblestone rocks, and it will help me for furnaces in general. Because basically anything you craft in the furnace requires clay. Forged iron requires clay. Bullet tips requires clay. Bullet casing requires clay. Bars require clay. Forged steel requires clay. <laughs> what is that? Why is there a fire until I zoom out? What is that? There's probably like a fireplace that's lit in a house somewhere, and it's just not showing the walls, and it's showing the light. It used to... <laughs> it reminds me of a bug that used to be like really a, a big thing in this game, where if you had your headlamp on, you could see a, like other people's headlamps in multiplayer. No? Okay, I thought I was saying. You can see other people's head headlamps in multiplayer, and uh, regardless where in the world they were, whether they were 20 blocks away or 2,000 blocks away, you could see their headlamp. <laughs> so, like, you can just see, like, their headlamp glinting in the distance if they're, like, in another city. <laughs> it was a really weird bug. They didn't have proper light culling. It's been many versions since that, though, and many years. I almost do enough damage that I can one shot these blocks. Wait. I have skill points. Ooh, hold on. Okay, maybe it's a bad idea to just, like, invest without really thinking about it too much. But, if I get to level 5 strength, I do a bit more block damage, and I harvest a bit more. Can I one-shot the blocks now? Yes! Oh, that's gonna be- that's so much better. That literally just doubled my speed by, like, giving me that little bit extra to complete the, uh, action. So it doesn't matter whether you need, like, one hit point more worth of damage, or you need half the durability more worth of damage, it's still going to be two swings until you get down to that, like, single swing. Plus, I also just upped my uh, my intake quantity for, like, how much you get from things you harvest. So, that's gonna give me even more clay. And clay will always be useful. I usually use cobblestone rocks, which I need clay for, for, like, mines and stuff. So that'll always be useful, and I'll always need it in the furnaces, too. Okay, I guess I'll use the cubes. And I'll put a bunch of these on. I'll just manually do a bunch. Like, do a bunch of upgrades, that's fine. This buck is still here. What the buck? Okay, well, if it's still there in morning, I'm going to kill it and eat it. Realistically, I actually get more XP doing it this way. It's just slower. Because, like, I can craft the, like, complete concrete blocks without upgrading them. Which is what I'm doing. I'm 
very happy I don't need to hit four times to upgrade this, because that's what the stone axe is like, and it's much worse. Take some coffee. It used to be that the concrete you had to dry, and while it was drying, it had like a wet texture and it took a while. It took like actual in-game time to dry, so like if you were building things before the horde, you had to like stop like half a day in advance because you knew that it would like it needed to be dry for the horde if you're just working on your house for the horde. I'm kind of it's better sweet for it to be gone. Like, I'm kind of happy from a gameplay standpoint, but also it's got a little bit sad from, like, realism standpoint. Because, as we know, the most important thing in zombies games is realism. That is complete sarcasm, for reference. <laughs> Yeah, meat. I have way too much meat at home, but I don't care. I just need to find more. Ooh. Actually, hold on. Seven. Here. Let me just take a picture of this, because this is, this is our progress. Oh. I'll put this up on the Discord server. Speaking of which, if anyone wants to join the, our Discord server, here's the Discord. You can get notifications for whenever new videos come out on the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also notifications whenever there are streams happening. I need to get, like, Nightbot or some other sort of streaming bot to, uh, like, set up so it can advertise the Discord and the YouTube channel. I actually have some fun stuff coming up on the YouTube channel, too. Been having stuff come out every day. More edited Seven Days to Die. Got some good stream, uh, stream highlights there. So you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. Or if you were for, here for the stream, you can go back and have a bit of nostalgia. For, like, three weeks ago. <laughs> but I have a bunch of new Path of Exile videos coming out. The last one is today. Um, I think I'll have two more Path videos come out this uh, League, and then I'm done for the League. The League should be ending in the next... I think it's ending, like, mid-August, so... It's not like there's much time left anyways. Don't really have any plans yet for what I'm going to do next league for Path of Exile, but I'm sure I'll find something. I might take the build that I have right now and, like, rework it. Because, like, I'm, I definitely enjoy the build that I'm using right now, but... Oh, it's a snake. That's what I was hearing. I was wondering if it was a, if it was a uh, spider zombie for a second. Oh, is that a wandering horde? Snack. That everything? 
think so. There's probably a bunch of, like, zombies stuck behind the building. They'll come out eventually. Not too worried. Okay, gotta keep clearing. I want to be a bit bigger than this. Like, a fair bit bigger than this. I'm thinking maybe out to here? Maybe. Put, like, another... At least another three rings on it. Well, I've got lots of concrete cubes that are being built. That's good. Uh, another hundred on. I'm not using my crafting right now anyways. And I leveled up again. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I have to cancel the concrete blocks or I'm never going to get my shovel repaired. <laughs> I have 10,000. Oh my gosh, I have 10,000 to play on me. I'm so happy that they upped the stack size like a few updates ago to 6,000. It was 1,000 before that. Or was it 500? It, it sucked. It really sucked. Let's put it that way. I'm making a moat. Not actually. But it feels like a moat. That rock exploded when I broke the thing underneath it. It's funny. Okay, that should be two... two times around. I use up the rest of the wood cubes first. And go to concrete. I'll leave the frames out of this for now. Uh, this is this is the fruits of all of our efforts so far. All of the mining and all of the leaving the forges on with a bunch of stuff while we went and got shit from various POIs, various loot, various houses and such. I should stop calling them POIs because a lot of people don't realize like what that it means points of interest or that what a point of interest is necessarily. They're mostly called that because like some of the uh, Dungeons aren't actually houses. Like, some are like, this one is a field. <laughs> or like, this one's an un underground bunker. Oh, well, that's gonna take way too long, so I'm gonna finish up this row just with this. It takes way more resources to to do this, like up the upgrade route, rather than um, rather than just making concrete, rather than just making concrete blocks. Is it takes eight wood to upgrade. It take it takes four wood to make each frame. It takes eight wood to upgrade each frame, and it takes ten cobblestone rocks to upgrade each frame. The concrete blocks take ten mix to uh, to make. And it takes 10 mix to upgrade the frames, so you're not even saving anything. Or, like, using a different material instead. We can afford to be a bit wasteful, though. That's okay. We can just get more stuff if we need it. Let's 
gotta keep an eye out for random zombies. I am on the ground after all. Looking directly downwards. I don't have a very good range of vision. Actually, this is a nicer. Oh, that's that's the Shotgun Messiah warehouse that I absolutely ransacked by by skipping my way through most of it. In the future, I have, like, a slightly modified plan on how to do that. Like, I pissed off the zombies, which was a very big mistake. That was, like... I was a bit arrogant with that, like, like, ah, I can piss them off, it's fine, it's not like it's gonna cause me any trouble. I didn't expect them to, like, follow me up and blow up literally half of the loot. But, uh... <laughs> there's the, oh shits drop, Dr oh shits drops, um, candy, which just gives you... Um, it gives you a 100% fall damage reduction for six minutes. So I can literally just take it and jump off the building rather than having to like find my way back down safely. And that also means that I can just bail if I want to. Like I don't have to worry about their... Okay, this is what I don't like about this terrain system. These are actually level. These are supposed to be level with this. This is actually supposed to be level right there. As soon as I do this... Now it is level. Like, I think it is cool kind of how they set it up, but... There are some issues with the terrain that make it really hard to work with. Oh, this. That's just the terrain being wonky. I'm gonna go through and actually, like, fix some of this stuff so that I can... Make sure I'm not digging the wrong shit up. But it's a pain to put things back at, at like in the right way, because even if I put like the even if I put the block back in the right spot, there's no guarantee that the land will adjust in a way that it makes it look even remotely normal. Okay, that helped. I'll just do the rest of this here. Some of this stuff actually needs to come up instead of down. Okay. Okay, so I can take out this now. I think that's... okay, yeah. Ah, oh, I have to fix that. Uh, dirt? Okay, I can just take dirt. All dirt is clay, for if you didn't know that about this game. It used to be, like, actual dirt, like, separate, but it caused issues. Yep. Okay, so that doesn't look right. Uh... I'm gonna have to smooth that one out. Okay. Now it's smoothed out. Oh shit, this is dirt, not grass. Ugh. Oh, I need to make grass seeds? What the heck? How the heck does that work? No. That's not- that's not what I meant. I hope the grass spreads to that so it doesn't look stupid. Actually, I might just end up turning that area into concrete anyways, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do some measuring now. Yeah, now it's just very suspicious looking grass. Okay, two, four, six. It's six out now. In this direction. Two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so everything is the right length right now. Oh! Oh, this must. <laughs> these are still building blocks. <laughs> I picked one up accidentally. Oh. Oh, I used up all my paint already. Oh, shoot. I have to get more paint. Okay, I need more concrete blocks. No. I'll put 100 on. I'm probably going to have to cancel it and do craft something else in the meantime anyways, so... Uh, I want this one. So I'm going to copy the shape. Nope, copy shape. Okay. Ah, fuck. There's no undo. Uh... This game's very punishing if you misplace something. Come on. This is wood. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's all cobblestone rocks. Okay. Or no, that's all wood already. Uh, oh, I'm into cobblestone rocks completely. I can make some, though. Yep, and I'm canceling that. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just craft... No, I'm not going to craft all of it because then I won't have any to work with. Here, I'll put 78 on. Whatever. I'm going to take lots of progress pictures for us. Oh, I want to paint stuff. I need to go back home and grab some paint. Yeah, I'm going to go home and grab paint. Where's my bike? Over here. Yeah, I'll have more paint at home. It used to be that um, there was a bug, I think for a couple of versions, where... You just you just did not consume the paint when you were painting, so I got used to just infinite painting. I didn't expect to like use up 500 paint that quickly. I don't know if I've ever interacted with the with uh, the paint mechanic with when it's actually working and consuming paint before. <laughs> I think this is the first time, and it's been in the game for I think three versions now, which is. Probably like two and a half years. Maybe four bites here. Well, I shouldn't take my my tar off, off my bar. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, well, there's enough of that in there. I'm gonna put some... I'm just gonna put a stupid amount of clay into that. Actually, 6,000 is enough. Let me get some... stuff going. Let's 
going. I don't need anything for that yet, because I don't have any... I don't think I have much brass right now. Um... No, I ate each... What's what I'm gonna do? Put like that, put that there. Cement! Give me more. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm running out of rocks really quickly. Yeah, I'm out of rock. Uh, I have eight. I have fifteen rocks here. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Actually, can I put clay in here? Do I need clay? Yeah, I'll put some clay in here. Uh, I don't need that much though. There. Shotgun shells away since I don't have a shotgun. I do want to try a, a double barrel shotgun though. Just because. Well, I mean, I want to give it a good chance. Like, they've been pretty good at other points. Wait. Let's not forget the. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot to put the thing on. Oh, that's 32 seconds. I thought this is 6 minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, that's not a big deal then. Okay, I'm gonna put... How much more can I... No, that's a lot. That's like 1750. Uh, I'll put a thousand paint on. Don't need more than that. Oh, that's a full refill. Food. Uh... 45 food, that's perfect. Put the clay away, because I don't need it. Oh, put it on clay away. Thank you, thank you. I've been here all week. <laughs> A thousand should be enough for now. I'm not actually going to paint too, too much. Your looks of disapproval are all I need. <laughs> so I've actually been testing a idea for like a 7 days to die challenge, specifically, in this update. Uh, in my off time. The idea basically is... You drop the XP multiplier from 100% to 0, so you never gain XP. And you increase the loot abundance from 100% to 200%, so you're gaining like a lot of loot very quickly. It has a very interesting uh, like play to it. Oh my gosh, that shredded like, all of the pain I had. So far, I found it like to be a really interesting thing, and I'm very like I'm tempted to start playing it on the channel sometime soon because it is interesting. It actually, like, affects the game in really weird ways, because the game's difficulty is dynamic based on the number of days and your level. So if you never level up, the game kind of doesn't know what to do. I've noticed. Like, I've done two hordes so far in that test, and neither of them... Ha I've, I've only gotten, I think either one or two zombies during those hordes. And that's, like, actually how the system works. Because it's like, oh, you're too way too low a level for me to send too much. You just started this, I'm sure. Let's just send you one. One's probably enough for you to deal with. And I have, like, a level 5 assault rifle full of mods. Because, <laughs> like, loot abundance. 
it's really interesting. Because, like, it lowers... It lowers, like, the difficulty of POIs, but in exchange you also don't have, like, all of the damage buffs from passive skills. Or, like... Like, everything is a lot slower, stamina is a lot harder to, to find. Uh, you have to get everything through gear instead, which requires you oftentimes to pick things you wouldn't expect. And you do, you do actually, interestingly enough, have some experience, like some, uh, some, uh, like passive points, because you get one since you're level one, and then you get three more for completing the quest, the intro quest. So you get four passive tree points to for the entire run, basically. And like, I spent like so much time actually trying to figure out which ones were worth the most, like worth, what would be hardest to get through items? And you'd be surprised like how much stuff you can just get an item for. It's quite a bit. Okay, I should do some math, actually. So if I want to put blade traps in here, say I put the blade traps here. No. Because they're 2x2 two two as well. I'm basically trying to figure out, like, what spacing to use. No, that's not right. So if I was going to do a bunch of blade traps, they'd be like that. Um, that would be pretty decent. But in this scenario, we probably have too much... We probably have either we have too much space or we could go through like another layer of blade drops basically. Cause the good the good thing about blade traps is you can turn them off. So like turn them on and off based on like whether you want to use them or not. So you can actually just wander around in the blade traps without hurting yourself. So that's good at least. So it's easy to repair them. Okay, so I wouldn't want them to be like right against the wall. I guess I could leave it like this, like the wall here. I'm just gonna build this up and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna go back and look at what it looks like. screenshot so this is kind of like a show of what it would look like uh with like each of those squares being a blade trap so i'd have eight blade traps i'd have one block in between each of the blade traps and i would have then the wall around the outside it'd be pretty hard to get past the blade traps without getting shredded for the zombies i mean I can also put the uh, I can also put spikes surrounding each trap, like, date like, me like, iron spikes basically, which are just just the upgraded version of the wooden ones. And I can step into I don't know I don't know how I'll get over into it, but let's say I jump on top of the wall, I'll be able to jump like into where the blade traps are, and I'll be able to like repair them by like going from blade trap to blade trap. Because you, you need to figure out how to actually repair this stuff, because, like, you will take a fair bit of damage through some hordes. So, you want to make sure that you have a decent method of protecting yourself. Okay, I'm liking this. Then I'm going to put a solid wall here. Do I want, do I want more space? Because I could just have another row, like, another entire ring of spikes around everything. 
if I want to bring it out another layer instead. No, I don't really like that. I want to do everything I can to, like, preserve the tree aesthetic. So I kind of want it to look like we're protecting, like, one really awesome tree, basically, behind a bunch of bars and stuff. Or at least that's the plan. Hmm. Oh wow, we had actually got through a bunch of that... those blocks. Okay. Nope. Copy shape. Okay, I'm gonna start putting the wall up. No. And, like, I probably will leave the wall itself as concrete or something. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll decorate the wall. I'll make it, like, some sort of brick or something. Like, I want it to, I want it to look, like, unnatural, like an actual wall. So that uh, it's like, I built this to protect this tree, to protect my tree house. Okay, that's starting to work. Hmm. I was actually thinking about maybe, like, I could put quote-unquote windows in, like, right here. But, like, through iron bars, basically, to, uh... Basically to shoot through, but there's not really a point to that. Like, if I make the treehouse big enough, I can just, like, stand on the outside, like, running around the treehouse and shooting downwards, like, outside the, the cement. So I don't necessarily need that. Hmm. I don't know for sure how it's going to look, so I think I'll probably work on that after I figure out where the... how the tree is going to look, ultimately. Oh. Oops. Because <laughs> what I could do is, like, ima imagine, like, these three blocks, like, like, these corner blocks are raised up by one, and, like, the walls are raised up by one, and then I put, like, just one single row of iron bars there, or concrete bars, so that I can shoot through them down. That might be the best option. Because, like, I want to be able to, like, accurately see everything that's outside banging on the bars and stuff. The fact that I can make concrete bars instead of making um, iron bars is kind of nice. I, I appreciate having less of a draw on the iron, because I'm going to be using the iron for spikes as well and tools, and repair kits, and guns, and everything else. Vehicles, like, <laughs> blade traps, like, every, it's everything takes iron, so taking one, of like, major source of iron away, like, or one major, like, use of iron away will help a lot, I think. Copy shape. Okay, so, actually, no, I need this. Oh, no, go back there. I don't know how high I want this to go. Hmm. 
let's say I'm on this level right here. I mean, that's pretty easy to shoot down to. Well, okay, if, if I was going to be on... What well, technically it would be this. Because I'm going to put the treehouse on top of the thing. I don't know how I'm going to, like, make branches or anything. Like, how I'm going to make it look more tree-like, but... Well, we'll start with having a tree trunk and see how that goes. Hmm. This is still fairly decent for protection. I don't really need a huge space. I mean, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have, like, a box up here, basically, or something. Maybe I could paint it green like, like, leaves. Hmm. I think that's high enough up. That should be fine. It doesn't need to be, like, crazy high. It just needs to be high enough that, like, if Screamer... Or not Screamers. Um... Well, actually, I guess... I guess spider zombies aren't going to be able to climb up it because there's going to be a box at the top, so they'll, like, climb up there and get stuck. And then fall back down to the blade traps if they haven't already been shredded by the blade traps. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to keep that height. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think it will be... I think it's the right height. I really do. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna keep working on the... Oh wait, I wanted to... Uh... I want to see how easily I can just see... Yeah, I'm gonna put a block right there. I want to be able to see that block from up there somehow. Actually no, it would be technically be too wide because zombies are, are too tall. Cause zombies are too tall. Well, the ones that are standing. It is. Everything is too tall except for the ones that don't stand. Okay, I need to be able to see those zombies from up there somehow. Oh, it doesn't help having all of this. Oh, even from here, and, like, I'm gonna build, like, a bigger box, I can see them. Just barely. But zombies aren't as wide as a block is, so technically I wouldn't be able to actually see them from here. But I'm gonna expand out a bit, so let's see. Sure, let's call that good. Yeah, dogs and crawlers are going to be a problem. You're right. Here's the thing. I'm going to try to build the box up here. Because ideally, I'm going to be more or less looking directly down on them. If, like, the design that's in my brain comes to pass. Oh, I need more. Uh, building blocks. Give me another 50. One, two. One, two. Right, so this side just needs some stuff. Actually, that's enough, enough right there to test it. Okay. Yeah, I can already, like, effectively see down there. Like, I'll be able to see the dogs, 
Yeah, I'll be able to fully see things, and like I would want it to be even like even a little bit bigger than this too. Okay, so that's fine if I do it three high. I should be fine. I could still just do the bars here anyways. There's nothing stopping me. Uh, bar centered. This is basically what it'd look like. So I can, like, fire... Well, I mean, assuming I was firing up, like... Basically, I can look through them. Kind of, when looking down. Is the idea. That This will give me, like, as much visibility as I need. That's for sure. I kind of want to... I kind of want to actually put, like, the corner there, and then just, like, cut out this corner. Mostly just for the aesthetics. Unfortunately, I already put concrete in each corner, <laughs> but... I don't know if I need... What is this playing? Okay, well, it's fine now. No! No. I don't want to break my shit. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to put the corners in, but I, like, now that I've placed stuff, but I'm going to do that just because I want a design that's not completely square. Because, like, we're already, we're already, like, branching out a bit and trying to make something cool. I want to, like, make this, like, actually as cool as possible. So I'll break these corners, and, like, eventually. Totally eventually. <laughs> oh, I could just do this on both sides. So that it's like rounded on both sides. Going down. Oh, that would actually be like really nice. It also make like the corners like super, super reinforced. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do that. That looks so nice. Yeah, that looks great. And then these are like, those are gonna be full blocks. Yeah, I'll I'll fix that. I'm not I'm not too worried right now, but I will fix it. When was the last horde, anyways? We just happened. We've been 28, so the next horde is 35. Okay, we have a lot of time till the next horde. How is, how have I already been streaming for two hours? Oh my gosh. Actually, based on that, let's take a quick quick intermission for a moment just oh just chance for everyone to get up and stretch and stuff i'm gonna get some water so be right back in just a few minutes let's say let's say five minutes
I'm back. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing right now? We're gonna finish the walls. Yeah, we're gonna finish the walls. That's probably the most important thing right now. And then we can actually work on the treehouse itself. I think. Yeah, no, because we need to protect the, the uh, trunk as best as we can. Because otherwise, like... I mean, even now, it has no defenses yet. So, like, zombies can just walk over and start smashing it. And they might. So, that's... I mean, they generally don't do that without reason, but if they want to go a direction and there's something in the way, they often will break it. If they can't easily go around it. And in this case, they obviously they can't easily go around it, so... Well, okay, they can go easily around it. They're just stupid. <laughs> okay, let's finish the wall. Some of the wall is going to look a little bit weird. That's okay. We will fix that later. I will get some sort of something to fix it with that is a little bit nicer than my pickaxe, probably. Copy shape. I'm trying to be kind of slow and deliberate when I place these because I don't want to risk accidentally misplacing a 5,000 durability block. That does not sound fun. Oh, I should make some more of these while I'm here. Whatever. Just put them all on for now. Okay. 
And can I copy the shape of this? Yes, I can. That's awesome. Look at that it's starting it's starting to look like a real thing again we'll we'll fix that but like it's starting to actually look like a real base now that's nice progress picture okay also in time for nighttime which is good I'm gonna move the chest. Do I have anything in here? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. I guess what I'm gonna do for now... It's gonna, gonna look a bit strange, but that's okay. I'm gonna take the chest. I gotta put it right there. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like very secure, but that's actually... That's actually decently secure right there. <laughs> Ironically enough. Uh, okay, there's not enough reason to eat any food yet. Okay. I'm gonna finish the bars now. The bars, I'm definitely going to have to paint to not look like that, because... I mean, they don't look too bad, but I don't want them to look like stone. I mean, I'm going to have to paint all of this. Is I think it's just the thing. <laughs> I'm actually going to need probably a fair bit of paint, considering... I mean, I've already... I think I've gone through a thousand already. Just to paint the floor in this. I'm going to guess I'm going to need another three thousand. Just as, like, a general, general ballpark. <laughs> There's also the question of how the fuck am I going to get up to this place? <laughs> I still haven't, like, made a plan for that. Uh, I mean, that's not a huge, huge issue, because, like, there are ways around that. Just, like, buildings, like, temporary towers and stuff. That works just fine. But... So, I can't have a ladder going up to this. Um, that, like, unless it's, like, right here. Like, if, if it's, like, right there, then yes. I can have, like, a ladder, like, way near the top. But I can't just... Ha I can't have, like, a ladder out here or anything. Because the zombies will just use the ladder. Like, they're smart enough to just go walk, like, around the building to the ladder. And then just go over the ladder. I miss when they were not smart enough to, to like do ladders, but now they are. Can I make a ladder out of this? Ah! Ladder. Scaffold ladder. What the fuck is a scaffold ladder? It's gonna be, look weird no matter where I put the ladder. Put this here. I guess I'm just gonna do this. I'm putting two up just like for the sake of how it looks. Okay, and I'm going to turn these back into blocks for a second. Up shape. So I'm going to put blocks there. Copy shape. I'm going to put those back up there. Okay. Copy shape. Back to blocks. I 
I also have to be careful because concrete is very heavy. And like only so much support. Like like this this centerpiece only gives so much support, so I can only go out so far before like my build will literally fall apart on me. Even, like, some of the building I'm doing right now is kind of risky. Just because, like, I have to make sure that I don't... That, like, everything's supported enough. Okay. Yeah, that's more than good enough. This isn't enough space, though, here. Because I'm going to need, like, an area for walls as well. So I need to go another re another bit out. It's very hard to place on an edge. Yeah. Without falling off. Okay, this is a big enough area in here. I mean, it should be. Then I can just look down from here. So, let's build walls up here. Let's just start building the walls and see what it look ends up looking like. Yeah. Okay, there's more than enough space up here. We do not need too much. Because, well, yeah. Okay, these would be gone on either side. Because, like, we'd want to be able to walk out onto bars and shoot downwards. Actually, do I have too much space here? Like, this would make sense for a multiplayer base. But, like, since it's on, I'm on my own, there's no one else I'm going to be running into. I could... I could theoretically make it smaller. And then the extra ring be just bars. Let's try making this a bit smaller and see what happens. Like, how bad is it to work with? No! God damn it. Thankfully, there's no punishment to falling off. That the fire keeps distracting me. Eh. Imagine you may need to be up here. Ah. Okay. Copy the shape. No, those are a bit bulky with the space I have. However, they're decent for the outside. The outside can use up as much space as it wants. That's fine. I don't care about that. Okay, I want to... Maybe I should just leave the inside corners open. That's actually probably for the best. Uh, so I want a hatch of some sort. Oh, it's behind the concrete. That's why it's taking so long. I could actually take out one of these holes and only have, like, one hatch. Uh, no, I want to be like that. So 
so I can come up. That'll be the easiest. Hmm, I could... No, not concrete. I could... Puppy shape. Could do that. And then I have three other areas. If I want to look out this way, I just like walk around, basically. Rather than I, so I don't have to walk over the hatch. No, that's not a bad thing to walk over the hatch. That's, that's not a problem. Okay. I like this plane so far. Copy shape. The nighttime music in seven days is so creepy. Uh, copy shape. Okay. So this is how much space I'll have inside of it. Cool. This is actually starting to look like a really nice horde horde base. Okay. I'll just check outside really quickly. Is there anything wandering around that's dangerous? I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place a block. A few blocks. Just to like mm, I wanna be closer. No, let's still... Nah. F7. Uh, F7, okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It's actually got, like, a fair bit of sturdiness to it. Like, everything is concrete, basically. Because <laughs> they have... Because, like, since they're as tall as they are, they generally have to break two blocks to get through. Actually, no, they crouch down now. Oh. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> if they get through, they'll get to spikes and then to blade traps, so it'll be fine. And I don't, like, I intend to put spikes around the outside of this. Like, this isn't, this is not what it's going to look like eventually. Like, I'm going to trap the fuck out of this place. Yeah. No. Maybe I need a more reliable way of getting up here. Actually, I guess, I guess if I'm having trouble. I can just use that. Like, it's... It's I'm I'm fine making it kind of hard for me to get in because it's going to be very hard for them to get in, and that's good in my book. Okay, I'll look at the other shapes. What other shapes do you have to work with here? We have a lot of shapes to work with. We have a lot of shapes to work with. Plate cladding? I have no idea what that means. Sheet centered. Catwalk plate? Okay, this is actually what I'm looking for. Kinda. No, I was hoping for something a bit thicker than that. I'm hoping to make the, uh, the, like, walk-in, like, in-and-out area a bit smaller. Just to, like, protect me so that things aren't firing in, like the cops. Because the cops will be firing in from all sides. So I want to make it, like, as challenging as possible for them to get in. Okay, there's a wandering horde over there. 
Okay, so let's see if I can find a thicker version of this. Like, I basically want a half slab. Oh! This might actually be perfect. Oh. Wait, no, I shouldn't do this. I should do it with the things that I can easily pick up. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the actual half. No, this this is half slab centered. Let's see what the actual half slabs look like. Like, do how much space do I really need? Okay, I can still get out fairly easily there. Because like I'm gonna be standing outside on bars, so. For the most part, I only need to be like a sm small portion to get in. I don't need too, too much. So let's do this. Copy rotation. I can copy some of this. Copy rotation. Copy rotation. Okay, so that gives a much... That's actually way better. Yeah, that's going to give me so much protection, because, like, there will be proper corners in, like, a box here, because there's going to be buzzards that are going to be trying to attack me, and I want to be able to block them as best I can, because they're not going to be able to get through concrete. They're not... They don't, they're, they don't really have much block damage, I don't think. This is, okay, this is perfect. Uh, eh, whatever. I'll go with this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Copy rotation. I like that. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to go two hatches or not. Oh. I wish I had the defenses up, because I'd just call all those, those things over here. You know what? Only drew one. Oh yeah, it's very easy to see them. Oh, she just faded into the ground. Anyone else? I don't even have the uh, the bars up yet to make it easier to shoot things. Nor do I have the actual spikes I'm gonna need. Wow, there's a lot of loot dropping. Oh, that's awesome. I can reach the loot from here. Where are the other ones? Right here. I just have to crouch down. I'm already really liking this design. Treehouse was a really good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, 
Darn it. Yeah, I need to jump before my feet leave that, or it just walks me off. So how has this stream been, like, video quality-wise? Like, when I'm, like, moving around and doing things, like, like how much does it artifact? L like, like, how blurry is it? Like, can you actually, like, see things properly when, like, I quickly move things around? Basically, I'm asking, does it often look like shit? Because I know it's looked like shit in the past when, like, I'm doing too much stuff around. Copy shape. Okay. That's good. We'll see how much, like, how the video actually ends up coming out, but that is promising. Uh, no, these are the wrong bars. I have 188 shapes? Oh my gosh, no. I have more than 188. I have so many shapes. It's awesome. Okay, I want these ones. I want the flush ones. There we go. Okay, let's do this the easy way. I don't need to make this harder on myself. Oh, that actually makes a lip. Maybe I do want the centered bars. Bars corner, bar centered, bar centered. Hmm. It has to be bars so I can shoot down, or this won't work. Most of these are like the catwalks won't work. Late railing. Oh, this gives me an idea. Let me see. I'm gonna rotate this a bit. I like find what I'm thinking. Okay, you see this? That gives a bit more protection, because, like, it also blocks the uh, damage to the structure right below it, too. Rather than just the plate. Is that better? I mean, if the plate gets destroyed below me, I fall. But this thing won't take that much damage. It will protect the rest of the structure. I'm trying to think of whether that's good or bad. Because, like, I don't want... Like, I'd like to spread the damage out amongst things. Otherwise, like, if every if one thing takes all the damage, then it's going to break. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I should probably keep this as just normal railing. Oops. Advanced. Yeah, so like that. Hold on. Let's... I don't... I can avoid screwing this up if I just do this in wood first. Like, I can see if I like it. I don't have to... I don't have to guess at this. Eh. Hard to go around corners. Okay. 
Uh, I almost fell off there. I mean, it's not a big deal if I fall off, it's just annoying, mostly. Okay, that, that section's not done, but this section is, so I can just walk around here, that's fairly reasonable. It allows me to just walk up that. And then the other option is the... The flush bars? Copy rotation. Okay. Oh wait, I I was doing them wrong before. That's why it wasn't why it would why there was a lip. That's not right. This is how it's supposed to be. Because what I was doing before is I was putting them effectively on the bottom of of I was putting them effectively on the bottom of this block instead of on the top of this block. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, that that's a lot nicer. And this is why we do things in wood first. Let me get a concept of what it's like, and if it's actually going to look good, and if it's going to feel good, and be useful. Okay. That's nice. I'm going to need to make a second layer out, though. Eh. Eh. No, you're not advertising on my stream. Thank you very much. If you're advertising on my stream, I'm gonna get paid for it. There's just like an ad rolling on uh, SoundCloud. Eh. Don't fall off. Eh. Eh. There we go. Darn it. That, this, when this happened is the worst. Like, with actual blocks that you care about. Like, when it's concrete. Because this I can pick back up. But the concrete? Oh my gosh, it's awful. Uh -uh. Don't fall off. I might sacrifice the cobblestone rocks to do this, like, and, and the wood to do this, and just upgrade these, because at least I know they're in the right place, versus, like, trying to place the, the cement versions, which could be kind of painful. Ah! This is so finicky. Almost done, though. It's okay. Almost done. A few more blocks. Last one. Okay. So I'm not going to do the, the corners. I don't really think there's a need. I think it'll look ugly. So this is what it's going to look like. There'll be an actual... There'll be like... This will be like a dome here. Like there'll be a roof. Uh, let's go down. Okay. It's getting there. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be, like, a really sturdy horde base, because literally everything here is concrete. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
have to learn how to make the jump. Oh, good evening, Han. Thanks for joining the stream. We are making a treehouse. Uh, it needs to be painted to look more like a tree, but <laughs> it is a treehouse. It'll look more treehousey soon. Copy rotation, copy shape. Hey, I'm gonna. I think. Oh gosh. I'm going to place a bunch of these as concrete blocks. And then the ones that I actually have to like point at the other bars to place, I'm just gonna upgrade those ones because then I don't have to worry about misplacing them. This is way easier. No, oh, thank you. Let me uh, go back downwards so I can show you. So this ground here is actually concrete, but we have it shown at we have it painted to look like gravel. And like inside as well, it's all painted to look like gravel. Just ignore these blocks, they're placeholders. And this is like a concrete pillar, but we painted it to look like a tree trunk, and I'm gonna keep painting it going up. And I'm gonna try to make this like look like it's made of wood when I paint that as well. To like look make it look like a childhood treehouse is the idea. No, copy shape. Copy shape! Oh, that, that's the right shape now. Copy rotation. How tall do I need this to be? Uh, this tall. Oh god. No. Let's just do that. Wait, can I...? No, let's try this again. Okay, I can make it so that it doesn't have the weird metal thingy on the top. If I just rotate it right. Okay, stop that. <laughs> No. Uh. Oh. Oh, there we go. So the way that the rotation works is I don't get to... Ch like, I can't rotate a particular direction. All I can do is hit the rotate button and it switches between all the different positions in, like, a set order. So, like, I have to go through all of the other positions before I can get to the thing that I want. You also have to be careful not to go past the thing that you want, because then you have to go through the whole thing all over again. There we go. It's not my favorite system. Oh, shit. That's not right. Right, I'm using half blocks, I forgot. Misplaced concrete blocks. I think we're at, like, ten now. <laughs> yeah, the rotation's really weird. Did it take ages to collect this many blocks? Yes, it did. Every block I break sucks. <laughs> A lot. 
So misplacing these sucks a lot. Because <laughs> each of these took 10 stone, 10 sand, which you can make from stone, and 10 cement, which you can make by cooking stone in a forge and outputting it. Then you, out when you put them all together again in the cement mixer to mix them together, and then you craft those in the workbench or in your inventory into the actual blocks like I've done. So each one of these blocks sucks to get. <laughs> so yes, I'm sad. Uh, okay, I need my water. Actually, I can move this chest now. No, I didn't. No, I found none of these. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can find concrete blocks at all. You can you can buy concrete mix, and you can find cement. So and you can find like the reagents potentially, but it's a pain. Okay. Oh wait, no, I didn't actually do the thing I was gonna do. Okay, have the meat stew. And I'll have... Well, I guess I'll have the golden rod to get up inventory. And I will make a new chest here. Just to have a place to put shit. Uh, which is the most... Which is the most important? Hmm, I'm trying to think which block is, like, the most likely to get broken. The bottom one or one of these? Probably the bottom one, so I'm going to put it up here. I don't need most of this crap. And in any case, it's not... It's not that big a deal, it's just kind of annoying. Now that, like, if we had worse tools, it would really suck. But since we have decent tools, we're okay. So if you bre if they break the bottom of the base, does the whole thing fall? How does gravity work in this game? Yes. Yes, if they break that that pillar right there, everything falls. Like, this design is intention like I made this design knowing it was a bit risky um cuz I want it to look cool uh basically the way I'm dealing with that is each of these blocks out here is 5000 durability so like it's a fair bit to get through any of these blocks and once they're through these blocks these blobs of these like um whatever you want to call these blobs of wood are going to be blade traps, which are basically like spinning... Basically the inside of a food processor. There's going to be multiple spinning blades around here that they will walk into if they get too close, and the rest of it will be surrounded with spikes. So, plus I'll be shooting at them. So hopefully between all of that, we'll be able to protect the center pillar enough. Uh, the way that I did the center pillar is it's not one block. It's actually in quarters. So each quarter has 5,000 health. And I'm pretty sure they need to take out at least three three quarters of the exact same part of the pillar to knock it down. So it's I have some sort of protection. It's just a bit, yeah. So, it doesn't fall to get, like, all the pieces don't fall together. It doesn't, like, it's not like this whole giant structure will just fall and just, like, sit on its side. It will crumble into destroyed stone, and, like, you won't be able to get any of these resources back, basically. It will make a huge mess, and everything, everything up there will be destroyed. 100%. So, that's why I'm going to be protecting this very, very carefully. Because otherwise, it'll suck. Oh, 
Well, our 3,000 concrete mix is down to 371. But we're almost done, so... Yes, it, it will literally be in ruins if they break that. Like, we're done. We we will die. Anything we have up here will... will Like, these. It, like we have a storage chest up here. The chest will break and everything in it will, will go away. Um... Actually, no, that won't happen because they added a uh, destroyed loot container uh, thing. So, like, I will actually be able to get the stuff back from the chest. But, like, all the concrete we invest in this will go. Which would suck. Uh, my inventory, I would die, but, uh, like, I just have to pick up my backpack. Like, run back here. So, it wouldn't be that bad. I wouldn't, so I wouldn't lose anything in the chest inventory or my inventory, but the structure itself would be completely unsalvageable. I wouldn't be able to, like, no part of this would be recoverable if it fell. This game can be pretty punishing at times. But that's okay. I mean, worst comes to worst, like, the, the longer that we play this world, the more ability we will get to collect things, and, like, the more stuff we will get back at our home base. Um, and, oh, actually, you weren't here, so I need to, I should probably specify this. This isn't our house. Like... The house is separate to this. I'm going to be putting that elsewhere. This is only for Horde Knight. So, all of our possessions will be separate even if, like, this base falls. Eventually, I'm going to have, like... Like, I currently have a level 5 uh, iron pickaxe. I will eventually have, like, a level 5 st uh, steel pickaxe. And I'll have, like, more perks and stuff. And then I'll be able to gather, like, all the resources for this way faster. Like, like the building and repairing this stuff will become much easier over time. It would be a big blow to us if we lost this thing, like, next horde. But I don't... That's not likely to happen. It's The, the horde's not going to be strong enough. Am I going to have enough to finish this? Oh, I think I'm going to be just short. No, I'm three cobblestone rocks short. <laughs> Do I have any clay left here? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. So that's all the bars done now. So we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Plus 14 plus 12, 26 plus 8, 34. I think we need about 34 more concrete blocks, which is 340 more concrete mix. Which actually is very obtainable. Ooh. If I make these, uh, these, like, corner pillars tall enough, I could actually, um, 
So there's mounted gun place like there's, there's there's mounted guns you can put up. Um like they will like guns that auto fire at things that get close. And I'm going to want places for those as well cuz I'm going to have like auto turrets and I'm going to have auto turrets. I'm going to have um spikes around the outside and the inside and I'm going to have blade traps. The only thing more epic than a, than a set of mounted guns is on each corner, one mounted shotgun that automatically targets things that get in range and, like, rapid fires them. <laughs> I mean, of course, we're electrical, or, let's see. Yeah, the horde will find you wherever you are. Uh, traps. So the shotgun auto turret is traps 50, uh, and we're traps 12. So we need uh, we need a fair bit more work in. We need to collect a fair bit more books before we'll actually reach that, unfortunately. But eh. is there one that? Hmm. Is there any trap? Is there any trap perks? That's just mechanical. Is there any trap perks to make trap books co more common? I don't think so, is what I'm guessing. No, there isn't. Oh well. Yeah, I'll just have to get them the old-fashioned way. Just luck. Okay, so what am I doing right now? Um... Well, take these, copy, rotate, copy shape, I'll just do that, I have just enough to upgrade these. Oh, do I want that there? How tall do I, mm, yeah, no, I want it to be three high, that'll work the best. Okay, I'll leave it there. Okay, cool. Plane! Airdrop! Airdrop! Airdrop? Airdrop! Oh, I really hope it's not on top of a building again. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and go... <sighs> I'm gonna take a break and go find that. We've actually been building for quite a while. So, maybe it's time to, like, take a small break from building. Uh, chili dog food. Take some of this stuff. No, I won't leave this here. Take some of this back. Uh, Painkillers I'll leave here. I'm gonna need to leave a bunch of repair kits here. I'll repair stuff at home. I'll leave the recog here. And I'll leave some ammo here. Okay, we've... Oh, 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 okay. Okay, before I go, before I wander off to get the airdrop, let's get another progress picture. It's looking really good. This is awesome. I look forward to actually being able to... Oops. I look forward to actually being able to paint it when our paint is ready. Actually, our paint should be done cooking. I might actually be able to paint it ahead of time. Where am I anyways? Am I turning the bars green? Uh... I think I am now. <laughs> I don't really have, like... I don't have, like, too much of a grand scheme in mind for, like, the colors yet. Yeah, I, I don't really know how to make the foliage, so I I will definitely appreciate any help with designing that, because uh, I want to, like, actually make it look like we're in a tree without, like, it looking too 
abnormal. Oh, I love, like, the old growth trees. Like, when you're, like, driving down a road with, or, like, biking down a road with old growth trees, it's always so nice. Like, in the summer. It's a nice feel in this game. I was noticing them because I was like, hey, I want to chop those down because I need wood, but no, they're too, they're too nice looking. Please don't have fallen on top of a building. You aren't seriously on top of the... Oh, okay, no. It, it's outside the shooting range. Or... No, that... Oh, God, is that a slaughterhouse? Oh, that's gruesome. Okay, a melee mods bundle. A book bundle. A beaker. That's good. That uh, unlocks recipes in the um, the campfire. And you can use it to make the chem station once you get to work workstations 50. And we are 13 off that still. Okay, two into electrical. Good. SMG. One more for workstation. So 12 more. Oh, we can make b better bone knives. Mods. Lowers degradation, stun chance, and damage to dirt. Okay. Oh, that's why it's so good with dirt, because it ha also has a Gravedigger mod on it. Well, I'm going to swap that out, because I want to have the less, uh, have it degrade slower. Cool. I don't think, I don't think I can use the rest of this stuff. Or anything too important. You can put this stuff on the spear. <laughs> That's silly. Potato. Potato. Oh, I saw a working stiff truck in there. I was like, can I loot that? I'm gonna whack this semi truck with a wrench. And that is how you disassemble trucks. Watch me make a semi truck disappear! <laughs> uh, fun. Did I loot this? No, I didn't. You know, if there's actually boars in here, it would be really good to loot, because, I mean, boars. I can cook for food. Though I have way more than enough meat. Maybe it's not worth the time. Spears! Wood splitter mod. Recipe. But my spirit of adventure is distracting me too much to run away. Oh, I see the loot room. That's probably incredibly dangerous. It's a three skull. Aha! That's where you are. Coffee maker. Microwave. Dead. Is that, is that a engine? Oh. Oh, hello.
Burn! Burn! I love my flaming spear so much. Okay, is this... No, it's not an engine. I thought that was like an actual engine I could grab. Also, okay, I found something out. These toolboxes have a high chance of giving lockpicks. Yep, lockpick. I now know something I can target for lockpicks. Also, I found out you can make lockpicks and they're not expensive. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew that before now. Oh, got some cobblestone rocks. That's good. Salvage tools. Is this an engine I can grab? Grab? No. Oh, that was a radi radiator I could grab, though. Disassembling vehicles in this is always so weird. I'll take the duster. I guess I'll make the duster green. That'll sell. I don't need a single potato. Oh, I can probably put a mod on this, can I? Yeah, I can, I'll leave the mod on there. It'll take up a little less inventory space then. Wait, coffee beans? Coffee beans or beans? Okay, no, those are actual coffee beans. I should keep those. Give me a frickin' wheel! Wait, I can disassemble this? Is this the wheels? Which part of this am I disassembling? All right, one second. Okay, that's better. My headset gets weird sometimes. That's fucking weird. <laughs> can I wrench this? Yes, I can! For wood? Is this the whole structure? I'm so confused how many- this is broken down to a lot of parts. This isn't really worth taking apart, but I'm just very curious what I'm breaking now. Oh. Uh. Reminder, this game has gravity. This is the gravity at work. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. Sometimes it just chooses not to have gravity. Okay, I can wrench everything. There's far too much stuff to wrench. Eh. Eh. Um? Oh my gosh, it's Grace! Oh my gosh, it's Grace. Okay, I'm gonna show you who Grace is. Meet Grace! Yes, she is bigger than the forklift. She's an irradiated pig. So that is what's guarding the loot room right there. It's her. She is very dangerous. I think she's sleeping. Uh, There's like a 
big pile of wood and a fence here, but that she'll probably just smash through it. I don't know how much she takes, like how many shots she takes. Uh, can I shoot her in the head? That'd be ideal. I'll just walk around on the roof here. This is like so much safer than the other options. More? More what? Oh yeah, more shots than I think. <laughs> Probably. Uh, oh, I have 45 shots. Maybe this is a bad idea. Hmm. gonna cheeky break some of the stuff. Oh, hello. <laughs> I kind of want to loot some of that stuff, but there's no safe way to loot it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Beat. Dum 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 dum. Stop it. Locked. Uh, where am I supposed to go from here? Out. Ah! Fuck! What, why can't I chop up zombies? Uh... You might be able to, I don't think I've tried. Oh. No, I'm not chopping up and eating humans. They're they're literally rotting. Let's see. Oh. Ew. Okay, so you can chop them up, but like they just they don't give you anything, they just disappear. Which is a system that's in place so that the game doesn't lag out too much, because it used to have a lot of issues with having too much shit and lagging out. Because there's too many zombies on the ground, like dead bodies. You know what? I'm just... I'm content not chopping up every zombie I find. I don't really feel the need to make, like, human leather clothing or anything. Where do you come from? What's over there? Oh god, that's Grace! Wait a minute. Actually, I could use this to my advantage. Maybe. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 okay, don't want, oh, what the fuck, go away, uh, can she climb ladders, uh, I think she can climb ladders, oh, this is, hmm, I'm tempted to jump to the, to the roof, but I don't think I'll make it, uh, hmm. 
Okay, this is kind of awkward. Ooh, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I can probably jump there. Ah! Okay. Where are you going? Oh, and she's gone. Shall I be worried that the giant boar just walked away? I should be worried about that. Where is she? Uh-oh. I hear her breaking things. She can't get up here, can she? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go back here. See if I can draw her out of the inside area. There you are. And my tar is broken. Uh-oh. And it's definitely not dead. Uh... Oh. Oh, it's- Oh, it's taking down the silo! <laughs> hmm. I don't have any more ranged weapons. That's not good. Shoot. I can throw rocks at it. <laughs> hmm. Hello? Yeah, but if I run away and come back, I won't beat it. Right now. <laughs> eh. Eh. Nope. Don't want to go all the way down there. It's raining. It's like she's doing a rain dance. Oh. Yes! <laughs> My gosh. A hundred meat? Oh shit, boars only give like 12. That's amazing. Well, I know where I'm coming back to, to loot. Oh, actually I should keep the 75 bones. I don't need pumpkin seeds. Sure. Did I just kill everything that was supposed to be in here? Ah! No! These humans you can cut up. Uh, those are not. That's not the ammo I need. Uh, use that up. Okay, I don't need two corn. Do I have? I don't know how many lockpicks I have. I have two more left. Three, two, damn it. Three, damn it. Fine. Thankfully, my pickaxe is pretty damn good. Actually, do I have... Really quickly... 
I can probably eat some stuff out of my inventory. Oh, do I? Did I still have that? I do have a water filter. Cool. I'll drink the murky water then. And then I'll head home right after this. Hmm, nice. Uh, I can't put a bandolier on the poncho. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, I can put that on there. I still have three other containers worth of stuff. Okay. That was a mechanical book. Oh, that's one of the uh, workbench books we need. Okay. Oh, I can use the medical bandage immediately. And... Uh, what should I leave? I have so much meat on me now because of Grace. Thank you, Grace. There's cement here. I like cement. Cement is nice. What do I dislike? I don't care about the blood bags. Okay, cool. I should be done here now. More or less. Oh! Destroyed cement mixer. Ooh, another workbench one. Uh, duct tape. Convert this to duct tape. Oh! Cement! Nice. Okay. Cool. And I think I leave over here. Uh. I don't know what that was supposed to unlock, but it didn't unlock this. Uh. Oh, whatever. I'll just go around. No big deal. Oh, another archery magazine. Nice. I really want more archery magazines. I'm getting immediately distracted. No. No. <laughs> I'm going home. Ooh. Yeah. That's not a distraction. That was important. <laughs> Check it. Oh my god, you can run over animals? I expected to phase through it! Well. Well, I have lots of meat on me, so I can stack it. Ooh, the Fates Motel. I need to do this one. Uh... Force go. Okay, let's leave. Yeah, shiny things get me every time. But, like, everything is so shiny. How do you not just loot everything? I don't really want to get eaten because I'm out too late, but... It's just, it's just hard to not loot everything. Like, I just want to go through every single one of these buildings. 
I don't have time for that. But I want to. Oh yeah, I had I have vehicle storage, I need to remember that. Okay, I have 500 paint done. I need to cook some more. Lots of clay. Put this in here too. I need 16 steel steel spear parts, but can I make anything with these yet? No. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, untrack that. Spear! Skill, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I need level 39. Wait, what? Oh, this. It's highlight. Why is it highlighting gathering tools? Okay, so spears. 39. I have 34. And then I can get a steel spear. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the uh, iron spear then. Because I could make a better iron spear, but a steel spear is much nicer. And that is. I don't know if this is worth more than a repair kit, but we'll find out. Worth 153. Probably not worth the repair kit, but whatever. Okay, good. I have bullets now. My poor tar was down to two ammo. Oh no. That's all my 762 left. Oh, I do have some gunpowder. Um, okay, I have a lot of nitrate powder. I need to go get coal so I can make gunpowder. Because this is not working. Ooh. Okay, what should I make with this? Because I have 16,000 iron in here. I don't think what's worth it. You can make anvils? Oh well, I don't have an anvil in that one. I don't have an anvil in that one, and I have an anvil in this one. Okay, well I can make two anvils then. That'd be nice. I guess I'll just make a shit ton of forged iron. Oh my god, 1100! <laughs> I guess I did mine a lot. Oh man, that's gonna be busy for over two hours. That's gonna be busy for like three in-game days. And this is good. Oh, there's some stuff there. This thing is out of... This thing is out of stone. So I need to get more stone for that. Because I can't actually use the cement for anything right now. Because I don't have the stone or the sand that I need. Anyways. 762. You can make... Another 210. That's... Hmm. At this rate, I won't be able to use it for the next horde. My... my... tar. Because it's too expensive. I might... I, I should probably use my pistol, because I have a lot of 9mm ammo. And actually, if I could make a shotgun, I could use a lot of shells, too. Wait, no, I need that. And I have a lot of, of cement there. Oh my gosh, I have so much cement. I have 15 stone left to my name. <laughs> oh. That's unfortunate. Oh well. 
Ooh, beaker. Oh yeah, I need to put the beaker in one of these. Oh my gosh! You can see it, like, in the back there. You see the little... Oh. 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 The... Okay. So you see the beaker where it is, like, right in the back there. If you look at it, you can move the beaker. That's not... That's a visual glitch. Uh... I don't remember getting a response on why not using cheap materials on the top of the treehouse. Oh, sorry. I missed that. Yeah, um... <laughs> my, my initial response is... Eh. <laughs> uh, so, you do get... Um, the cops have explosive bile like projectile like expl like explosive corrosive radioactive bile um and that does a fair bit of damage to blocks so like i wouldn't want to have it made of of like wood or anything especially not the bars the bars definitely need to be concrete and so does the base but i could actually make like the top of it out of cobblestone rocks just because that's cheap and that wouldn't be as expensive so that is a good point like, a, from above, I need to worry about vultures, because vultures will be, like, beating on the roof to, like, try to get into me. Yeah, I can probably use cobblestone rocks. That is a good point. I guess I got stuck on the, um, concrete is best mindset. <laughs> that is a good point. Thank you. I don't know what that means, and I'm concerned. Okay. I have a bunch of Grave Digger mods. Do I? How many Gravedigger mods do I have? I have one on my ratchet, because I need to bring it home. I have one on my shovel. <laughs> I thought I had more. Well, I'm gonna take the one off the ratchet. Actually, wait, is it better to have this on the ratchet? It's ever so slightly better to have it on the ratchet, because it does actually increase the block damage. Even though it's for dirt. Yeah, I would prefer the vultures don't eat me. I'm not really a fan of that whole being food thing. I kind of built to make better armor than I have. My armor sucks. I don't know what the like the upgrade to to plant or not plant fiber to the what cloth the upgrade to cloth is. It's like I know this military. Wait, I know a good way to answer that. Crafting skills with armor. Armor. Uh, leather. I don't... I feel like I checked to see if leather was better and it's not. Let me make a leather hat and see if it turns out decent. Leather hood. Okay, I'll make a leather hood. Okay. Oh. That is worse in every way. It is less armor rating, it has less explosion resistance, it takes more stam- it doesn't replenish stamina, it decreases your mobility, and increases your noise. 
That's awful. Why would I use that? But it is supposed to be light armor. I think that's balanced wrong. I think that's genuinely balanced wrong. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. What does it take to make these various things? Oh, that takes sewing kits. Gloves. So these all take about the same thing. No, not that. I want one armor and or one chest and one gloves. I don't think these are going to be better, but they're actually cheap enough that, or like to make that I think they're worth selling for me. Wait, so if I take this off... So this has negative stamina per second, and this doesn't. Why? Why would I ever pick this then? It's just worse in every way. I don't understand that. Is Are the mods making it better? Okay, so this is what I have. This would, this would actually increase the... Okay, so the mods were making it better, so it does increase the armor rating. But the stamina is still worse, and the mobility is worse, and the noise is worse. No, that's still not better. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep that. I I feel like then that's not right. I feel like it's supposed to be different. Okay, I'll sell those. Can I put anything on... any mods on the gloves to sell it with? If I'm gonna sell it, I might as well sell it with mods. That makes it worth a lot more, surprisingly. What's the cheapest mod? Pocket mod. Clothing double pocket mod. Clothing double pocket mod. Oh, that's armor double pocket mod. I don't know what the difference is. Increase encumbrance penalty by two. Decreases encumbrance penalty by two. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is way better. This is okay. So that's for armor. This is for. My clothing, like these pieces here, that don't have any other mods on them. Oh my gosh, okay, no, I need to make that. <laughs> How do I make that? Uh, I need cloth. And more duct tape. How much more duct tape? Um, I can put it on pants, shirts, and overcoats, and I have each one of each, so I need three. So I need six duct tape. And I have three duct tape, so that's fine. I'll make an extra one, too. Pocket. Is there any reason to make the other one? No, it's just the earlier version. Okay. Three pocket bonds. Cool. Okay, I can sell these. I want to put the impact bracing mod on my boots, but my boots only have one slot. Okay, so I have... Two, four, six... I have seven encumbrance slots right now. Five. Can I put it on this too? Oh, I can. Three. And the gothic pants. One. 
So I can get a maximum of one encumbrance now. That's good. Oh shoot, I'm like... Thirsting to death. I need... Can I... Hmm, what should I drink? I mean, this is 60, so that'll be fine. And I want to... I'm, I'm going to have some of the pumpkin pumpkin cheesecake, because that sounds amazing. <laughs> I'll also add some red tea on top of that. Oh, I feel like tea and pumpkin cheesecake sounds amazing. <laughs> I have an idea. So I'm gonna grab a... Wait, no. Okay. I want to see if I can make anything fun, like, food-wise. So first I'm gonna grab uh, from my Drippy Meisters my water. Because I might need water for some of this. Okay, that's all of my food chest. What can I make? Uh, oh, yeah, I need... Okay, I can make red tea. Ah, here we are. I can make a little bit of bacon and eggs. I can make a lot of boiled meat. I don't really need the food that badly, though. What's stopping me from making, like, stew? This requires rotten, rotting flesh to make? Ugh. That sounds awful. Cooking grill. I don't have a cooking grill? Oh my gosh! That's what's limiting me. I don't have a cooking grill. Um. I need to make a cooking grill. Two cooking grills. Now let's make two. Then I'll put the rest of Ford's iron back on. Okay, so anvil. Oh, wait. Anvil. No. Cooking grills. Then anvil. Then Ford's iron. Cooking grill. Okay, what can I grill up? Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, so I can, I can make fish tacos. That sounds atrocious, but I will make them anyways. They're probably better than they sound. I need potatoes for a lot of this stuff. Potatoes or pumpkins? Steak and potato meal. I need more mushrooms than potatoes. Which we'll stew, more mushrooms. I think I need potatoes for a lot of this. That's fine. I'll make some more bacon and eggs too. I'll just leave the rest for now. I am gonna make some more paint though. Because I'm gonna need more than 500 paint. Oh, I need my wood back. So I can make... How much is that? That's 2,500. Actually, 2,500 is probably fair. Like, I expect to... I expect to need a lot of paint for this. Because, like, I'm going to paint the outer walls. I'm going to paint the bars, both on the walls and around the treehouse. I'm going to paint the logs. I'm going to paint the actual... Um, treehouse itself, like, there's a lot to be done. There we go. 
Okay. I can have some fish tacos. I don't know, something about about that something about it does not sound good to me. But maybe that's just me. Oh, I left my bow here because I was doing other stuff. Right, okay. In that case, I'm gonna grab some arrows. I'm not gonna use more than 75 arrows. So I can go out and actually do things. Oops. The stream's coming up on the four hour mark, actually. <laughs> oh. I don't feel tired at all, either. Like, I would feel tired after streaming before, but, like, I'm. I was only doing two hours before, and now I'm nearly four hours in, and I don't. I don't feel it at all. Now it's just kind of fun to chill with y'all. I don't feel like I'm forcing myself or anything to talk, like... I don't know, it feel, a lot of it feels more natural now. Hmm... Why, thank you. Just for the sake of being able to say it's my first four-hour stream, I am going to go do the fetch quest over there. And then I'm going to call it. I'm going to do the fetch quest, and either I'll call it there or I'll come home. One of the two. Wait, do I have... Nope. I don't have anything in my bike, do I? No, I don't. Okay. I need some repair kits and food and water on me. I'll bring five red tea, some bacon and eggs, and I need repair kits. I should make some more repair kits, actually. <laughs> Yet another thing to do. I'll, I'll do that after. Oh! I just saw the deer at the last second, I'm like, wait, no! I need your meat. Okay, 600 meters. I'm happy that this bike handles like a dream. <laughs> oh, Han, I don't know if you were here for it, but we found out that we can do wheelies. Whee! No. Eh. Whee! <laughs> Also, you can just bounce, too, which is great. I have no idea what either what either of those emotes are. Oh, the second one's a surprise. I don't know. Don't recognize the first one though. Is that a fist bump? Wait, there's a bank here? Seymour Bank. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Let me, uh, I'm gonna mark this. Cool. Banks are, like, stupid valuable, because they they're full of things to break open. Uh, doggos? <laughs> ah, this must be a doggy daycare. 
Oh, it's... Oh my gosh! It's a doggy agility course! That's so cute! I love it! Oh my gosh! I'm not going in there because I don't want to get eaten. But I love it. Oh, there's a, there's a skateboard park! Oh my gosh, they've changed so much since I played, like, in this last update. It's amazing how much they've done. Oh. Cool. Is this? This is light armor. But it it doesn't, uh, it's more, it's more protective, but it still doesn't give the stuff I want. Stamina. Where'd my bike go? There it is. Okay, I need to get through this little gap. I don't want to hit anything because this bike has very poor durability. <laughs> One of these days we're going to have a vehicle. That'll be a maze. Whoa. The resolution just du just plummeted. It's this. It's this thing doing it. I know it is. I've seen the construction sites I've like used to be really bad for it and it appears they're still bad for it. Let's go all the way over here. So that my frame rate actually recovers one day. Echo Commons. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Now I can, like, see the ground and, like, it has texture. Echo Commons. It must be, like, just a... I mean, I guess it's just an apartment complex. I won't bother with the pre-loot. I'm just going to uh, destroy the cars. Oh my gosh. Okay, super important thing. Super important question for all of you. What is your favorite type of cookie? Because I have oatmeal raisin cookies in front of me and I forgot about them. And I'm super happy because I have oatmeal raisin cookies and now I remember that. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me. I don't know how much of this is, like, the Echo Commons and how much of this is the Poppin' Pills next door, but... No, you're supposed to answer the question. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god. <sighs> You're funny. Okay, this is definitely the bottom bills. So I should be fine to reset this now. Oh! Oh, it was a rabbit. Ooh. Did I break the door? The door wouldn't, like, wasn't interactable for me for a moment. <laughs> he sprung up so that I could hit him again. That's funny. 
Ooh, well safe. I only have one lockpick, though. I'm not gonna- there's no way I'll get it with a single lockpick. That's pretty damn rare. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> nice. No. Oh. There isn't a second zombie here this time. And this filing cabinet actually has something in it. What? Here's someone. Hello? Oh, hello. zombies. Probably behind the couch. Yeah, I see one. See another in the corner. Maybe another behind that desk. There must be something in the ceiling. Salvage tools. Scrap, scrap, destroy, scrap, eat. Remember, eat your books and you grow up to be big and strong. Like me. Oh wait, now I'm supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to go over there. <laughs> I love when they ragdoll off things, it's so funny. God, I love the sound this thing makes. It's really cool. The things that, like, break underneath you when you step on them are so, so freaky sometimes. Uh, I hear zombies. Where's a zombie? But they up or down? Well, I guess I'm gonna go down, because there is no up that I can go to yet. I'm supposed to be stealthy. <laughs> I guess I haven't really gone too far into stealth lately. And I have been meaning to. Yeah, I guess I need more than this. Well. Oh yeah, they're level 3. Cool. From the shadows. I'm more sneaky now. Okay, well I don't care about you because you're not in here. That's locked. <laughs> Aha! Uh, can I break this? Oh my gosh, it's really easy to break. <laughs> and I'll break this because it gives you forged steel. Oh, four forged steel, that's really nice. I still can't get that, otherwise. That's still locked. Where are you supposed to go from here? Because both of those doors are locked. Can't get out the windows. Hmm. Wait. 
is everything I'm hearing breaking? Oh, there's something down there. Okay, this one? No. Well, I can go out here, so I'm gonna go out here. Oh. Well, that's not that useful. I need to go up. How do I get up? Is there... An... I don't see any more stairs. As far as I can tell, we're on the third floor. Or fourth floor? How many zombies are there outside? Is there, is there like a wandering horde that came in or something? Okay, there definitely is a wandering horde. Oh. He didn't break it enough yet. Oh cool! I can I can open the door while my bow is drawn. I still don't know where to go from here. Hmm. Obviously, my the supplies I'm looking for are up, but I don't see a way to go up. Like, it feels like I'm supposed to go down here. But I don't see anywhere to go from here. Wait, was this destroyed before? Maybe you're supposed to go out? Maybe? Wait, there's... There's a ladder there. Okay. So that means the ladder should be right... Oh, you're supposed to go out this window! Okay, now I see what's going on. I think everything up here is dead. Nope! I thought everything would have fallen down, but... No. Okay. Well, I guess I cleared everything. That's armor plating. That's really good. I can put that on my gear and become more sturdy. Oh, no, that one's full. This one has good mod slot. Okay, and I have ammo. Car parts box. Yes! A vehicle! Vehicle book! Oh, and a wheel! Nice. I can get quality three steel tools? Okay. I need to... I need to do that. Yay! Satchel! Okay, where's my vehicle? By vehicle, I mean bike. Um... I don't want to drop down from here. I'll go here. Grab this. Excuse me? Night vision goggles? Oh god! <laughs> that makes it really hard to see. <laughs> oh, and it goes on this slot. Okay. Cool. 
That's awesome. I'm gonna keep those. Use them for the horde, maybe. Do I have... Oh, I wish I kept those feathers from up there. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know it's hard to see because it's not night. <laughs> I'm just giggling because, like, I'm putting on night vision during the day, which is stupid. Okay, to the trader. Also, we've broken the four-hour mark. First four-hour stream. God, this really does feel like a city, though. Like, there's more stuff to do in this city than one person can manage. Which is, which is the way a, a city should feel. Being that cities are generally big. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at the mo look at the model for that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so awesome. They must have spent a lot of time. They made so many models for this version. That's amazing. I'll take this men here. Cool. We already went in the Delt Theater, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh. Eh. Okay. Already have. You okay, know, I, I guess I don't need six cement. Make a variety of footwear. And paper. Passing gas door number nine. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. Beep. 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 Okay. New Mama Pizza. Oh, I still I still have space in my bike and I'm still not using it. Still forgetting. Well, I okay. lost a bet on this one. Here's some money. What do I need to sell? I could probably use some more brass. I'll keep that. And uh, that I will... Was there Wait, can I make else? a... First aid... Not a first aid kit. Can I make a... I think I can make a... Armor... Repair kit, that's the word. Okay, so I'm gonna repair this, because it's... Actually, maybe I should keep that. Seems decent. If I need more armor for some reason. Actually, I could use that for Horde Knight. That's a good idea. I don't think I have anything else I really need to sell. I don't care what folks say about Drafting you. Drafting magazines, gunpowder, bipod, pipe bomb, blue splitter mod schematic. Uh, the 500 gunpowder. Actually, the 500 gunpowder is not that hard to get because as soon as I have coal, I can make a stupid amount of it. The crafting magazines would actually be better. In this rare case. Okay, so where am I? My houses are northeast of here. What are my options? Hurry Harry's. Passing guest number three. Buried supplies. And Mopo Shack. And buried supplies. I have a little aside Northeast. I think I've done Hurry Harry's, Hurry Harry's before. I'll pick Passing Gas because that one's easy. Okay. Okay. We have been going for over 
four hours now. <laughs> Which feels ridiculous to me that so much time has passed and it doesn't feel like anything. Ooh, jailbreakers. I need those. Ooh, health bar. Those would be really good too. Oh my gosh, there's so many good things here. I shall put stuff there. Okay. I'm gonna sign off here. Oh, I don't know how many days. We started on like the very like the early morning of 28, and we're midday 32 now. Next horde is 35. Okay. We have a Seven Days to Die video coming out tomorrow on the channel. We just had a, uh, um, we just had a Path of Exile video come out today. We, I'm hoping to put out three more Path of Exile, sorry, three more uh, Seven Days to Die videos and the last two Path of Exile videos next week. Uh, the streams will go up this weekend that we just did. Uh, if anyone wants to, uh, get notifications when, uh, we're doing things, then uh, come and join our Discord and feel free to. My webcam gave out. Oh, that's 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 my sound. Feel free to come subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate you sitting sitting through the, this four-hour session with me, having fun. I hope all of you will be here for the next stream on t next Tuesday. Have a good night. Bye.